So a couple of uh, climate activists were trying to barricade the road to the Burning Man and the cops came in. None of the activists got hurt, by the way, but uh, their barricade got rammed into. And they were trying to farm sympathy on Twitter. But from what I noticed in the comment section, despite the fact that it got 80.7 million views, so a lot of people have seen this, there's almost no sympathy to be had here. And I'll explain why that is in a bit. But first, let's watch and see what they actually did. So they got arrested. I mean, they, they were screaming, but like none of them actually got hurt. Um, and, and it's interesting that a lot of people are asking the question, do people have a right to protest or not? And I think it's the wrong question. Like, like what you're asking is like, why don't people support my protest? Right? Be because whether you have the right to protest or not is going to be decided in court by a jury of your own peers. So regardless of what I think, it's not going to affect your trial. But uh, your question really comes down to, do people support what I am doing? Right? Like just because you have a right to protest, it doesn't mean that what you're protesting is going to be supported by the general population. And secondly, and, and this is why climate change activists are having such a hard time with public opinion. They're not protesting the government. They're not protesting an institution, they're protesting the public. And then they are Pikachu face when the public doesn't resonate with them. Like you're protesting people who go to the Burning Man. As far as I know, it's usually bourgeois twats that go to the Burning Man, left-leaning people that probably support you to begin with. So you are making their life difficult by blocking their road to go to the Burning Man. And secondly, it's not just like you're blocking people from going there, but you're blocking emergency vehicles as well. When you saw that the cop police was coming and, and it had its sirens turned on, you didn't try to remove the barricades or to allow it to pass because, well, there may actually be a problem. Like someone may actually be hurt. Like they had no idea that the cops are coming for them. They just saw an emergency vehicle with the lights on. This usually means that there is an emergency, right? So... That's what I would assume. So you'd have to remove the barricade. But like we know this from the past. There have been other situations where uh, mothers with children were trying to get to the hospital and the environmentalists didn't allow for that. Uh, there have been situations where ambulances weren't allowed to go to where they needed because the activists decided to block a road. This is why people don't support their cause and they're getting livid. They're upset. It's like, oh, but like we got arrested. And it's like, okay, so what do you want? Do you want money for a lawyer? No? Oh, you want my sympathy? Well, how can I sympathize with you if you don't sympathize with other members of the public? If you don't sympathize with a mother that has a child and, and she needs to go to the hospital and, and you don't care. And I don't see like, oh, but like, hold on a little bit. These are different environmental activists, okay? They're, they're not the same like the previous one. Okay, well, have they disavowed? Have they condemned? Have they policed them? No, okay, so like, why, why should I care then? Because that's what this is about, right? It's about me caring about what they are doing. They're protesting me, literally. They're protesting you. They're protesting us. Again, like, they are blocking the road to the Burning Man. They're not blocking the road to the White House. They're not blocking the road to the City Hall. They're not blocking the road to Jeff Bezos. They're not blocking the road to an institution. They're not blocking the road to something that actually pollutes. They're not blocking the road to China. No, they're blocking a, a small road in the middle of goddamn nowhere because they know people are using it to go party party. And apparently they created like a massive, and as you can see in this picture, like they created a, a massive line of cars, which had to wait for them to get bored and go home. It's unacceptable, right? So like, this is what it's about. Do you have a right to protest? Yes. But do I have to support your protest? Do I, do I have to agree with what you're doing? No, right? Like, like my thoughts, whether or not your protest is okay or not, doesn't influence whether or not you go to prison. Doesn't influence uh, whether or not 
I mean, look, if you didn't do anything wrong, because I, I don't know the, the legislation in the state of Nevada, and if you didn't do anything wrong, then I'm pretty sure that the jury of your own peers is going to find you not guilty, and the state is going to have to pay you damages. You can sue these police officers. Uh, but at the end of the day, this, this has nothing to do with me. I, I don't get to decide whether or not this happens. What I get to decide is whether or not I think you're a twat. And if you block the roads and you're preventing people, like the members of the public, some of them that may even agree with you, yeah, I think you're a twat. And by the way, I'm actually happy that these uh, environmentalists exist. Like, I know a lot of people that uh, were initially, oh, yes, like, we need to be more green, we need to conserve energy, blah, 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 blah. Until they ran face into face with the activists and they were like, holy shit, I don't want people to associate me with these individuals, to, to think that I'm like this. Because I'm not. I mean, honestly, uh, not, nothing gets people more politically active than uh, being stopped on the street for no fucking reason. Like, like th this is actually something that pisses off. Uh, and by the way, like, this pisses them off a lot when you tell them. Like, when, when I tell people this story, if they're on the left, they get infuriated. So, we had a political party in Romania. I mean, we still do. But they used to do the same social justice tactics. Uh, like, for example, they would walk back and forth on the crosswalk, preventing cars from, from passing through. And uh, my cat was sick. I was supposed to take it to the vet. And I, I reach th this intersection where these people were patrolling back and forth. And I had to wait there for more than 40 minutes. And uh, they, they were the USR, like United We Save Romania. And they weren't protesting environmentalism. They were protesting corruption. And it's like, motherfucker, why are you stopping me for? I got a cat that's dying. Like, what? why the fuck am I being punished because you're protesting corruption? And I'm like, oh, well, it's because you're not politically active. Then fine. Who are these people? They're the far left. Who is the far right in Romania? Uh, Gold. Our party. I don't know anything about them, but like, if they piss me out, I piss them, I will vote for our and I did that, and when you tell leftists, like, how can you do something like this? How can you do something like this? It's like, it's so irresponsible. Yeah, irresponsible is to stop the st uh, my, my travel when I was going to the veterinarian. That's irresponsible. Now, if you piss me off, and, and you go with the, if you're with us or against us, man, I'm against you. I'm against you. Oh, friend or foe, uh, uh, foe. 100%. I don't fucking care. Like, now, now it's my duty. And this year, I will vote out as well. And, and probably in four or five years, like, if, if the party's still... I will keep voting for them. Normally, I didn't vote in Romania. Out of principle. I don't care. But people wanted me to care. Now I do. And I guarantee you, if more people would think like me, you'd have less chuckleheads blocking the roads and shit.